to welcome you to this POIST event. And at this point in time, it's also my greatest pleasure to welcome on stage the hosts of this program. I hope I get the, the pronunciations of the names correctly. We have Victor Guridam and Leah. <laughs> so please give them a round of applause as they come on stage. I'm just going to pay, play, pass the paper right now, sorry. Yeah. Well, sorry, he's short, he's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, like you said, my name is Victor James Gurida. I'm the president of Save You Poetry Society. Um, before we kick off this evening, we're going to give you a little background of what Save is all about. It is truly difficult to find a good definition of poetry, seeing that there are many definitions as there are many poets each with unique definition. Poetry can, however, be likened to a beautiful sculpture, and the poet is sculptor, because the poet crafts words at the end a beauty. See View Poetry is all about putting together all kinds of poets to express what burns inside of them on the stage. Beautiful artwork, dramatized poetry, rhyme battle, which is my favorite, as well as open mic recital, all focus towards positively impacting the society at large. Nobody saw that. What we do, we are a non-profitable organization that is focused on reaching out to people in society, especially those less privileged, through poetry. We organize poetry recitals, open mic sessions, to raise funds for motherless babies, the orphanages, Canadian Cancer Society, and many others in need of assistance of any sort that we can offer. Most of the poems and poetic works are, are dedicated to these challenged individuals. Lastly, SPS Regina is a medium through which people pour out and share what they have inside and positively influence society using poetic tools. Our mission statement. To raise funds for the motherless baby home, the orphanages, Canadian Cancer Society, the Cancer Key, raised through poetry. How? By a nice poetry recital like this. Where are the gates? You have whatever, um, be it coins or whatever thing you have. Nothing is too small. One penny, one billion dollars will accept. Publicity. How we get to reach out to people. How we publicize. The group reaches out to people out there about upcoming events through posters, flyers, Facebook, and one-on-one -on -one invitation. Many other means. Just as we did in our very first open mic recital, which was held on the 30th of December, of September, sorry, 2010, at the university here. Our plans. Since CV Poetry is a new society, just three months old, our plans and aspirations are pretty big and inviting, in that we are determined to reach out to people out there in the community and impact them positively. We plan to have two major events before the end of 2010. One which already took place on the 30th of September, and the second one which we are about to start off. Benefits. You might be wondering, why do we come here to recite poems, express what burns inside, have rhyme battles, and express your talent? Yeah, all is focused towards reaching out to people. And how do they benefit? I thought of it, okay, we are all students from the University of Regina. How can we impact the society out there? So what are the benefits of these recitals? Fine. The target for this very one we're having today is to put a smile on the face of babies at the hospital. It's Christmas, right? So whatever we have, just donate. We go out there, get them teddy bears, whatever thing we have. Go to the hospital, the sick bears. Now, most of us, we have more than enough relatives that we can we, we, we kind of uh, think of where to go. Okay, I uh, don't want to go to home, this is so play, I want to go here. We kind of pick. But these people, they are, in the they are in the hospital, they don't have anywhere to go. They don't know anybody, they are just there. Most of them are orphans. This is the time we step in. This is where we come in now, with our teddy bears. It means a lot. Though it's small, there is a saying that says, give small gift, but with great amount of love. So, our benefit is to reach out to kids, more especially, which is the major target of this recital. Thank you very much. And we are going to have our very first recital. And that is going to be done by Javix. Um, you give him like one minute 
for him to get ready. Um, the song we're playing, and then Jarvis will come up and give his first point. Thank you. aka Javix, and the very first poem for tonight is entitled Poetry and I. I have always wanted to scribe poetry, more creative than mere commentary, more pleasant than a love song, meeting the true joy for which I long. Earthly words can hardly express what my sense of sight may know, but the tender wind carries them to rest. And there, my inspiration began to flow. My soul is trying to tell things far beyond the seas and skies. A sad and empty line it sings. Why the human mind asks why? The blind paper longs for pen's touch to express all that I've met. But when they do, there isn't much. Poetry is part of me, I bet. Thank you very much. Right before the next recital, I want to take this opportunity and invite a special person from the ISSO. And if you don't know what that means, it means... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please help me make welcome someone from the International Student Success Office of the University of Regina, Mathur Mathurin. especially with the holiday season coming up. Uh, as you know, cancer never takes a break. And I'm sure that everybody in this room has been in, uh, affected by cancer in one way or another. Uh, it's something that we're trying to spread the word about. I'm not sure how many of you know what, what it is we do, who we are, everything like that. Um, 
we, we work at a national level. Um, I'm part of the Saskatchewan division, and we have groups all across the country and units in all of the major cities in Canada. And uh, we basically go out, we, we campaign, we speak on behalf of those that have cancer and to raise awareness, uh, to raise uh, research, raise money so that we can take care of, of those that have cancer, help them find a cure, help them beat the disease, and so that um, future generations don't have to live with the fear of cancer. That, that's basically what our main goal is. Um, so we do everything we can to go out to events like this to promote awareness about it, um, to let people know that there is support out there for you. The Canadian Cancer Society offers many different programs for people or families that are dealing with cancer. You're not alone. Uh, there's millions of other people in this country going through it, and there's millions of people throughout the world that are going through cancer as well. We've got a great support system set up. Uh, we offer services at the Pasco and General Hospital as well. We have a peer support team that offer uh, assistance to those that are going through cancer right now, or that have defeated cancer and want to give back to those that have it. Uh, it's a great, wonderful group. They drive uh, cancer patients to their doctor's appointments, uh, things like that. It's especially important for those that maybe don't have any family or anybody that uh, can kind of be there to, to help them through it. It's, it's nice to see everybody come, come together and, uh, and help us uh, defeat cancer. Um, so all the money that we do raise, uh, out of every dollar, 97 cents stays here in the province of Saskatchewan. So when we are raising money, it is staying here to promote our programs, to promote our research, and to help our fight in the fight against cancer. I'm sure many of you have heard of Relay for Life, which is our major uh, fundraising awareness event throughout the year. Um, we're always looking for volunteers to come out and help. We've got lots of fantastic programs, lots of fantastic volunteers that, are, that come out here and. Uh, and are working with us throughout the year. Um, there's just no end to what we can do to help fight back against cancer. So if you're interested in helping us out, I left some volunteer applications outside, some, some brochures for you to take home and some business cards. If you're interested in getting involved as a volunteer, you wanna do a third party fundraiser, much like what uh, your society here is doing. We've got lots of great opportunities. Uh, we're always looking for people to come on board. Like I said, uh, all of us have been affected by cancer in one way or another. If you feel the need that you need to talk to somebody, feel free to give us a call. Um, there's a national call center that helps uh, people going through cancer or, or if you have any questions about it, it's actually based here in Regina. So uh, we've got a great support system set up. Um, I wanna thank you guys for uh, raising money for the Canadian Cancer Society. If you have any questions, uh, my name is Chris Botus. You can uh, give us a call at the Canadian Cancer Society and we more than happy to answer your questions. So thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Put your hands together for you once more. Well, you've heard. You have to volunteer, you have to help, you have to give out to the community out there. It's not about what you can gain, it's about what you can give. The more you give, you'll find out that your problems are taken care of. There's one philosophy that I have now. Is if you have any problem, try to solve other people's problems. Automatically yours is solved. I don't know how it works, but it works. Okay? Yeah. So, um, before I call on Matt Steen from Student Union you know, to come up here, I would like to give a short piece, which I wrote, I think, no, not the newest. I wrote it like two days ago. The newest, I wrote it yesterday. Um, it's entitled Alcoholism and Negligence. Wailing sa sounds of siren down the street. Red and blue flashes of light on the street blocks. Screeching tires and rows of horn all over. Ambulance accelerating to the accident scene. Broken glassware all over the floor. Furniture thrown around all over the room. Yelling cry for help from such molestation. Rejected, abused, and neglected. All these I have disgusted in offspring from your own very loin. Though sometimes you give birth to ecstasy, but it lasts only for a few hours before it dies. Your so-called spouse, negligence, destroyer of great dreams, aspirations, and even lives. Those that survive her somehow end up with you, alcoholism. You are nothing but destruction. The gullible and feeble mind you imprisoned, dark and lonely dungeon now they dwell, sad and painful line they wish to tell, waiting hopefully that to get well. This place is where they call their own. But they keep wondering why they are all alone. No one around to even call their own. Not even a voice 
over the phone because you and your spouse negligence took them all away. Thank you. So our uh, columns must stay from Sudan Union. Put your hands together for him, please. Thanks a lot, Victor. Uh, my name is Matt Steen. I work at the University of Regina Students Union. I'm our uh, Vice President of Operations and Finance. Uh, Victor asked me if I'd come down tonight and just chat with you guys about a couple things that we do, maybe some things that you guys can take advantage of that you're not taking advantage of right now. Um, definitely see the Poetry Society is, uh, takes advantage of uh, a lot of the club funding that Ursu provides. Um, so we have right now about 77 clubs registered on campus. Each of them is entitled to $200. Uh, for whatever they want to spend it on. Um, I see you guys are definitely taking advantage of that, and that's great. In addition to an extra $200 for club funding, for, sorry, for an extra event on campus. Um, things like that, things like some other things that we offer, groups like Seaview is um, free poster design. We'll print free posters. Uh, we have over 50 poster boards on campus. You guys are welcome uh, to post posters on. Uh, we've got 27 TVs on campus that you guys can advertise on for free. As far as outside of clubs are concerned, we offer things like during, when we go back to school for next semester, we offer a used bookstore. You can buy books at a discount from other students. You can sell your books, make a little more money off them. Um, obviously, we've been, who's been to the Owl that's in here? Has everyone been to the Owl at one point or another? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, all right. We offer on I mean, Friday nights, we've got 325 drinks, no cover for students. Who's been here on a Friday night who's 19 years old? <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's not bad. Not all of you. Come check it out this weekend if you guys get a chance. Three twenty-five drinks, no cover. It's the best deal in Regina, offered by your students' union. Um, that's about all I really wanted to say with you guys. Unless you guys have any questions, anything that um, possibly we could help you out with, or anything at all that you wanted to say about the students' union while you had a chance. Nothing really. Fair enough. <laughs> but come talk to me anytime, guys. You see me in the hallway, come say hi, come stop by my office. If you ever have any questions about anything that we could possibly do for you, uh, thanks again, Victor, for giving me the chance to come say hi to you guys. Well, I almost forgot that there is something here. The vibration, there's a K in between the N and the S. Uh, if you say that word without the K, I will sue you. Ink inspiration. Uh, well, before we go on, I would like to. You might be wondering why ink. Well, it's ink because it's the pen that writes the poem. So it's the ink that flows through. So therefore, your inspiration, you use the ink to express it. So putting it all together, I came up with the word inspired. There is a lovely poem that goes inspired and all that. By the way, who can give me four words that rhymes with the word inspired within five seconds? Well, I see, I see. <laughs> that, one, that one is not part of it. Well, I see that we have a lot of contestants that are going to win a special prize that is back there in the rhyme battle session. So if you know that, yes, you can rhyme, you think you can rhyme, get ready. Well, I, I challenge you all that within two minutes, I'll give you 50. F no, I'll give you lots of rhymes. Within two minutes. Now it's left for you to count it. Anyone that gets the exact number of rhymes in that poem that I'm going to recite later on is going to get a prize. So I would like to um, ask Zane to start warming up because she'll be coming up soon to do one of our poems. But before then, talking about rhymes and fast rap and all that, let's take a look at what um, Dwayne has for us. Thank you. 
Tai Tao and we're gonna start off with play. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I totally appreciate that. It's a good name. I'll get a little bit for that. Right? <laughs> totally. I'm so excited. So hi, how was refreshments? Yay. Yay. Like thumbs up and soft applause. Um, I'm Leah, not Lee. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna make fun of him, sorry. Um, Victor actually invited me to come uh, perform here and to help host, so I'm sorry. Um, I'm actually from the Pride Center. Uh, how many people here know what your pride is? Like seven people, that's cool, awesome. Um, I'm actually the chair there, and um, it's a really good time. You should check it out. We're a pretty good cause. I'm not gonna plug us, but I think we're cool. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do a couple little songs for you right now. And uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Woo! So we'll see how this goes.
Actually, that was my favorite song I told her. Oh. It was a special request. It's a pretty good song. Do you have a point? Uh, I could go one more, or we could move on. Really okay. She'll do one more, and I would like to uh, tell the dance group outside that they should get ready. They're coming up next. And uh, you guys should be ready. They're going to dance and show you more dance inspiration. Lunches. Okay. So again, I also didn't write this one. I'm sorry. Using my right hand to draw pictures, unfolding stories untold, 
but my left hand is hard to pull in the presence of the inner rhythm, the heartbeat, can you feel it? These words are organs of the mind, pen, and paper. It is because of my creativity that I'm verbally able to spread the words that I speak through your body like blood, being, uns being outspoken, using words unspoken, words unspoken to the lost souls, the lost souls with no hope, the lost souls with no hope, digging deeper to find my reason for being who I am. Who I am is poetic, being poetically toxic but not killing the mind, but feeding the mind with knowledge, the knowledge to know thyself and to be proud to be thyself, being individually minded. It's our inner being that creates our outer, thus making our poetic souls and our poetic bodies in a space where it's just me, my pen and paper, in a space where I can be flying free, just me, my pen and paper, no one else but the two of us together. Our thoughts are an energy fueled and consumed by the desire to educate our imagination. Sorry. <laughs> um, our thoughts are an energy fueled and consumed by the desire to educate our imagination, surrounded by trees blowing wind as a whistle. Sweet melodies of birds gave these words direction where true identity of knowledge is found in two connected minds. Afforded the time, devoted by the sun to reason about poetry as the high quality that, that pleases the mind in a poetic highway where we are exploring the lost treasure of humanity, the spoken word, I puff and pass the platform to the next poet. Thank you. 
Brian Sigla for the once more. And we now move to the second segment, which is actually more music and more live voice vocals, and I call it voice inspiration. So I call on Abraham to come and take care of that aspect. And um, before he does that, I would like to give you a little preview to the next dramatized poetry. It narrates a story about a guy who always gets dumb on Valentine's Eve, which is very sad. And he came up with the poem entitled My Muse of Valentine's Eve. It's so sad and please, we will need a lot of tissue here because we just need to cry. Okay, yeah, we'll come on the next one. Anyway, yeah, put your hands together for Abraham. Uh-huh. I'll take it back to my height. Again. Now, before I go ahead with this song, I'd like to apologize for my bad voice. Because normally, if you have a good voice, you won't apologize. But when you have a bad voice, you just have to give an excuse, and it's simply because a lot of people have performed and I was trying to shout, you know, scream in love with their songs and so it's time for me to sing but I lost my voice. So, can you give me the instrumental? <laughs> It's called uh, I'm of Age. Um, first of all, I'd like to give a brief introduction of my poem. Um, now, many of us are familiar with the expression of come of age, but how, what, and when does someone really come of age? Uh, we usually associate coming of age with uh, things like financial capability, being able to afford your needs and wants or our external features or in a place like this in the institutions of learning 